last user just linkedin user says it here i have been in testing profile around 10 years and worked with etl testing for four years who like to move to data engineer and aws cloud can you help with the roadmap please so um a roadmap how i would how i would start with it i would exactly start with it how i the, with the course that i did in the academy that's my and i don't want to sell you this you can you can re, uh, you can uh, actually uh, replicate this 100% your on your own but the actual thing is um what i think is impo uh, is important um do, 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 do. here that you actually make this a bit smaller so that you actually say okay i'm first uh, you're you're finding yourself a data set to actually work with and uh, where you do your project with then you design your your platform okay uh, i in the in the platform blueprint oops let me delete that in the platform blueprint on my in my engineering cookbook i ha i explain what these uh, different um different categories are of a platform design the connect face the buffer face process store and visualization and then uh, i would start building platform uh, building pipelines okay a pipeline where you you get data in an ingestion pipeline with an api data comes in goes for instance to a uh, to a kinesis stream then stream that data to raw storage like S3. Uh, stream that data into a NoSQL database like DynamoDB. Um, use a API to actually query the data out again. That's also very interesting. Um, then use then then you're already through the part where you say okay now this is this is some transactional stuff. This is not analytical uh, the analytics part of a platform. And then you, for the analytics part, you could say, okay, now let's let's work with the data warehouse, and let's batch process or let's batch import data into a data warehouse. These are things that I that I would start on start with. Um, I would actually, I would actually do, and uh, because through this you're going to learn learn the tools are the important tools in AWS. You're going to learn identity and access management, how you use that. You learn logging and learn how to use Boto3 to actually code stuff, Lambda functions. Um, you learn to use S3, you learn to use DynamoDB, you learn to use what else? Uh, Redshift, for instance. Um, yeah, learn to work with AWS Glue. Like, all this stuff that, that's that's important and that's how i would start by actually building building the, a project and just like that and you can't you can't do that you don't need to you don't need to have my my uh, as i said i don't need, want to want to sell you the course in the academy you can you can just take this um look this up and start get an account most most of the stuff is, is always free tier set yourself some billing alarms first before you start for uh, like 10 20 30 bucks uh so you get alarms if if it gets too too expensive and then just start just play around with it that's that's how i learn most of the time and that's what for me that's when it's always fun right so do that try 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 that out uh <laughs>